Thank you. Part two. Now, the reason people are talking so much right now in Washington State about Election Day and voting is because two important jobs in our state are up for um, re-election. Election, elect, re-elect means to let someone continue in the job. In Washington State, we have a governor, Governor Jay Inslee. He manages the whole state of Washington. He is up for re-election. He has the job now. He'd like to continue. In our nation, we have a president who manages and takes care of all 50 states. That's, that's the person who wants to be re-elected and continue working as president. The governor would like another term of office. That means to be elected and come back for another four-year term. The president would like another term of office to continue being president for four more years. Doing okay so far? Election day is about politics. Politics is about issues and candidates. Some candidates <coughs> include words like mayor or senator. This year, it's the governor of Washington and the president of the United States who are the big candidate names we hear a lot on the news. <coughs> and we, <coughs> as citizens of the United States of America, get to vote by our ballot. And that determines which issues and which candidates move forward in the functioning of our nation. Thanks for trying and for paying attention carefully. And all of that is called politics. <coughs> now this year, a big part of the conversation is about these two words, Democrat and Republican. Democrat, 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 press it so it sticks. Republican, 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 press it so it sticks. These are the words used to describe people's types of thinking. A Republican has ideas about how our nation should be run. Their politics. A Democrat has ideas about how things should be run in our nation. They have ideas about politics. <coughs> Republicans have ideas about the issues they think are important. And the candidates who support those issues that Republicans think are important. Democrats have ideas about issues they think are important. Democrats have ideas about the issues and the candidates who support those issues that they think are important. Those are called political Another type of word like this, politics, political. Those are called political parties. Not a party like a birthday party, a party like a group of people who think and vote the same way. There's a Republican party and a Democrat party. A party is a name for a group of people. There can be a party about a birthday or a party about a wedding. And then there can be parties about politics. 
The Democrats and the Republicans are two main political parties in the United States. Did you see the color I wrote here? Red is a color associated with Republicans. I have to look up on how or where that happened. I don't know the origins, the beginnings of that idea. Blue is a color associated with Democrats. And it's a way of describing people and their thinking. Their general thinking. He's a Republican. She's a Democrat. She's a Republican. He's a Democrat. <clears throat> he is blue. She is red. She lives in a blue state. He lives in a red state. Those are all words floating around right now. Blue state, red states, Republicans, Democrats. Blue and red. Democrat and Republican. It describes people's thinking about issues and candidates. Because people tend to vote blue or tend to vote red because their thinking is similar around the same things. Around blue issues or blue candidates. Around red issues or red candidates. Issues important to the Democrats. Issues important to the Republicans. Candidates important to the Republicans. Candidates important to the Democrats. Democrats. Republicans. It's just ways of quickly describing people and their thinking. Because that's all in the news right now. All about election day and politics, issues, and candidates, and how people will vote at the ballot box. Now, if someone, what did I say, moves their thinking between red and blue, sometimes they agree with the red issues, and sometimes they agree with the blue candidates. People talk about those people or places as being purple. Because you know, if you mix the colors red and blue with crayons or markers or paints, you get purple. So if someone moves back and forth in their thinking, we might say they live in a purple state, or they are purple voters. A lot of words. Let me show you some pictures next, but let's just review and walk through the words one more time so as I describe the pictures that you'll see, you can remember them. I have so many cards in front of me. Election day is coming. Election day is the day people vote. They vote with their ballots. Their ballots are a way of expressing their thinking, their opinions, their ideas of what they think are important. They are thinking of what's important about the issues, or the ideas, or the candidates, or the people. All of this is called politics. Right now, 
these two jobs or positions are up for election. Someone who does not have that, that job of president or governor wants to be elected. Someone who has that job already, like President Trump, Trump wants to be re-elected. Someone who has that job of governor, Governor Jay Inslee, wants to be re-elected. They each want to continue their term as governor or their term as president. How people think or vote is divided into Republican and Democrat. One is not better than the other. That's why I'm moving them around. One isn't first, one isn't last, one isn't better, one isn't worse. It's just different thinking. Red is the color associated with Republican. Blue is the color associated with Democrat. And if you agree with both and disagree with both, you might be considered a purple voter because sometimes you like Republican ideas and people and sometimes you like Democrat ideas and people. Then you're in the middle and considered a purple voter. Blue Democrats, red Republicans. And those are the people who are wanting to be elected. Now let me show you some images I have on my computer right now of, of ways of helping to explain and demonstrate a little bit more about what I'm talking about. I'm going to move the camera over here now. Okay, let me move this here. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to move you in front of the screen I have set up for you right here on my computer. I made a chart to help show some things. Democrat and Republican. Donald Trump is the Republican president who wants to be re-elected. He belongs to the Republican Party. Now another symbol of the Republican Party, in addition to red, is the image of an elephant. An elephant is the symbol of the Republican Party. That's something that has been um, happening for a long time. Again, I need to remember what that is. So the word Republican is connected with red and the symbol of an elephant. Joe Biden is a Democrat. Democrat <clears throat> color is blue for Democrats. And the symbol associated with those thinkers is a donkey. So you will see pictures sometimes of those two animals, elephant for Republicans, donkey for Democrats, as a way to help identify them. Donald Trump is president. He wants to continue and be re-elected. Joe Biden is a Democrat. He wants to be president and wants to be elected. They differ on their ideas. They differ in how they want the country to move forward and function and work. The Republican Party, now we're going to use another word, ticket. Ticket is a word, I'm going to scroll these pictures up. Ticket is a way of describing a list of Republican or Democrat ideas. Joe Biden wants to be president as a Democrat. Donald Trump wants to be president as a Republican. Now with them, they have helpers. Those are called the vice president. Mike Pence is our vice president now. He is a Republican like Donald Trump. He wants to stay in office. 
he is connected to Donald Trump, so he would be re-elected. Kamala Harris is a Democrat. She is working with Joe Biden, so she is on his ticket. She wants to be vice president, and she wants to be elected for the first time. Elect, re-elect. Elect, re-elect. Elect a Democrat, re-elect a Republican. Elect a Democrat, re-elect a Republican. That's what's happening in our country right now. I'm going to scroll up. Democrats, Republicans. Biden, Trump. Presidential candidate, incumbent president. Another word, incumbent. Let's put that in our heads. Incumbent, 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 press it so it sticks. That means that person has the job already. Donald Trump is the incumbent president. He is president now. Joe Biden is a president, presidential candidate. He wants to be the president. Mike Pence is the incumbent vice president. He has the job. He wants to continue in that job for another term. Kamala Harris is a vice presidential candidate. She wants to be elected to be vice president. Democrat, Republican. Blue, red. Donkey, elephant. Biden, Trump. President, candidate. President, incumbent. Kamala Harris. Mike Pence. Kamala Harris, Democrat. Mike Pence, Republican. Kamala Harris, Vice President, candidate. Mike Pence, incumbent Vice President. Okay, I'm going to show you another chart in the next video.